Hey everyone, welcome to another review video. This one's going to be kind of a review and swatch video, so I really hope that you guys enjoy this one. It seems like this is the first makeup related video I've ever made. If I'm not mistaken, it is. Um, it's not going to be a um, tutorial video, but it's going to be a swatch video and also talking about a new brand of makeup that I'm using and I'm really in love with, and um, it's called Necromancy Cosmetica. Um, it is from Puerto Rico and I'm going to tell you guys a little bit more about this and kind of what attracted me towards wanting to collaborate with this brand. The plan was actually never to make a video. Um, I planned to use uh, their makeup with some photo shoots and I haven't yet, but I saw <clears throat> how the colors look in videos because I was making some video vlogs and um, not public ones but just like sending videos to family and um, I saw how it looked in videos and I really liked it and I really liked what it, how it looked with my skin tone and I think that uh, their colors are definitely unique uh, they're not colors that a lot of people have the balls to pull off <laughs> if that's if that's kind of um, the best way I can put it and that's kind of what inspired me to make this video for you guys and I thought that um, perhaps there are other swatch videos out there made by um, a lot of different girls with different skin tones and hair colors and stuff like that but I want to show you guys what this looks like on my skin tone and my hair color so maybe you'll find you know one of these lipsticks that is pretty much perfect for you so what I'm going to do is I'm going to this is just a random lipstick I'm wearing I'm going to like constantly remove my lipstick and moisturize my lips and reapply one of theirs. I'm gonna go from the lightest color to the darkest and show you guys what it's like on me and also give you guys kind of like an overall review of this brand of makeup. All right, so let's get started. I have like a little moisturizer with me because my lips are going to hate me after this video. So as you guys can see, my bare lips are actually not that pigmented, which I think makeup artists really like um, because it has not, it doesn't really have that much of a color going on, uh, so the colors will show very well. But uh, Necromancy Cosmetica, their colors are very, very pigmented. They are matte and they stay on beautifully. Um, I drink coffee through the day and I, I drink it with a straw if I have any lipstick on, but I like to not have to worry about eating and drinking throughout the day if I'm wearing lipstick and I'm always worried about the quality of um, up-and-coming makeup brands out there and I feel like a lot of them are the colors are interesting but they don't actually last and they don't feel that good on the skin but with these guys I'm so impressed and that's why I'm making this video for you guys because I like how it stays on all day and I like that the matte effect is so nice and the colors are so unique and you do need a pair of balls to wear some of them out. Um, but I'm going to kind of go through the colors for you guys. But before I do, I'll give you guys a little history about their brand based on what it says about their About Us on their website. It says, up and coming indie cosmetic brand from the tropical paradise of Puerto Rico, created by Des or Dis, uh, hopefully I'm pronouncing that, along, alongside her main squeeze. ZVL, I don't know how to pronounce that, Zvel, Zvel, I don't know. The power couple driven by occult arts and rare fashion sense gave birth to what today is known as Necromancy Cosmetica, a unique concept of beauty Des created for herself and every other makeup lover willing to step out of the box into a much unusual atmosphere of colors. With 100% vegan base and choosing of unique matte colors, all of our products are carefully handcrafted and not tested on animals. That part was in caps, so I'm, I think I'm supposed to I'm supposed to scream that part out for you guys. We strictly believe in a cruelty-free environment, therefore we make sure our all our ingredients are 100% vegan and not tested on animals before purchase. Necromancy Cosmetica has come to change your perspective on beauty, bringing back to life a rare bitch in you. <laughs> oh, this is the first time I read this. Um, uh, amazing. But yes, so when I found out that there's, there's a couple out there who, who they're inspired by the cult and by all things mysterious and they are making makeup, I had to collaborate with them. So here we are. I'm going to tell you guys the shades that I have and you can go on their website and kind of compare what it looks like on me to what it looks like on their model or their lip or just like see what it looks like on their website but I'm just going to tell you 
their website. It's necromancycosmetica.com and I'm gonna leave the link down below in the description bar so you can just click it and go to their website and see which colors I have. So I have Naked Witch, Witch's Brew, I love the names, Bitch Witched, <laughs> Oh No Nancy, and Lestrange. So the lightest one is, from the ones that I have, is the Naked Witch. So I'm gonna apply that one on and show you guys. I generally like to find a matching lip liner um, when I wear lipstick, like when I wear it for a photo shoot, I like to make it like perfect and overline my lips and all that stuff. But for this video, I'm just going to try and do my best just with the edge of the lipstick and not get too detailed into it and um, just show you guys what it looks like basically. And I will fast forward this part so it's not too boring for you guys. So this is what Naked Witch looks like. Um, it looks a little insane from that far away. And it's not the best application of lipstick I've ever done in my life. Um, but it's a very interesting gray beige mix. Um, it's, it's definitely different, but it's not that crazy. I don't know what it looks like from that far away, but it does actually look like a color I would like to wear out. Um, but between this one and the other light one I have, I feel like... Uh, which one is the other one that I really, really like? Lestrange. I feel like that one is a little bit safer. It's kind of like your nude grayish, but this one is definitely like a gray, um, ghoulish tone. And on my skin tone, it looks even grayer. So I guess if you have lighter skin, it's going to be less of a shock to look at. Um, I have like darker features, um, so this is kind of it, this is how it looks like. I really want to see if their website has um, kind of like a little. Uh, description of their own colors because that would be wonderful so I'm wearing Naked Witch and Naked Witch is $16 I think all their lipsticks are $16 it says ultra matte nude grayish undertone that's what it says about Naked Witch so that is Naked Witch I guess now we can move to the next color I really like this one my lips already hate me. I'm just like stripping the moisture away, but the things I will do for the things I love. So the next color I'm going to show you guys is Lestrange. Let's see before I put it on what it says about Lestrange on their website. It says a less strange nude than Naked Witch, occult pink undertones. Actually, this is the first time I read this and that's exactly what I said before I read this. I said it's kind of like the next, like more normal version of the one I was just wearing, Naked Witch, and that's exactly what the website says. So yeah, this is kind of a safer version of Naked Witch. I actually wore this at work and I got complimented. Nobody looked at me like I was crazy. So this is a very safe color, at least safer than some of their other colors. So let's just put this on and see. I think that out of all of their colors, this has to be my favorite, or all the ones that I currently have, the five. This has to be my favorite one. This is going to be one of my go-to lipsticks for everyday wear because it has, it's your nude, beautiful, classy, you know, I like nudes. If you guys see my everyday selfies, you will know that I really love nude colors. I'm just gonna make this camera a little bit brighter so that you guys perhaps can see better. There we go. So if you guys know me, you know that I like wearing uh, kind of like darker nudes for the lips and this is definitely different than the ones I wear. Uh, this has that gray undertone with a little bit of pink in there. It looks normal at first but then when you look at it more there's something more going on. There's something witchy, something more alternative. So it's very safe for everyday wear while still having that little bit of a weird undertone that I love. Um, it's one of their most normal colors but even then it's still alternative and beautiful and magical so I'm gonna wipe this off and try the next color for you guys my lips are hurting so much <laughs> I never changed this much lipstick ever is this what it feels like to be a model it hurts all right so I'm removing my uh, foundation as well but no worries I have plenty of that on my face right now <laughs> So the next color I'm going to try, let's see out of the three which one is the la the least dark because then it's going to totally be difficult to 
remove. Okay. Well, there's no question about that. So I'm going to show you guys what Witch's Brew looks like. This is a lilac, violet, beautiful, striking color. It's a little bit darker. Um, I, like, I've actually never tried this on. It's like fresh. Those two that I swatched for you guys, I had actually worn it before. But the next three, I have never tried them. So this is like a fresh bottle. And, and it smells pleasant. Uh, there's no weird, like... Uh, chemical perfume smell in them too which I really like because with those kind of lipsticks it makes me want to lick them and I don't like that so let's see what it says about Witch's Brew on their website the color they have on their website as their uh, lip model looks a little bit brighter than I expected so let's put it on and see what it actually looks like on me because in the um, lipstick bottle it actually looks a lot darker but let's see what it looks like when you put it on it actually is brighter. I actually have a lipstick that's very similar to this color that I paid a lot for. It's the Kat Von D lipstick that I wore in my lilac photo shoot. I'm probably gonna pop up a picture for you guys. And this is, hmm, it's the quality is just as good. This is a little bit more matte in my opinion. And if it's anything like the other ones, it stays on beautifully and it's a lot more affordable. So that's all I have to say right now. Yeah, this one definitely reminds me of that lipstick, and this is like one of the only two lipsticks I have in that tone. Um, I think this one's a little bit more blue, whereas that one's a little bit... Uh, there's There are some undertones of red in there, so it makes it more of a, like a more violet purple if I'm not totally blind. But the quality of this one is just as good. It's uh, more affordable, and it's just as alternative and beautiful and I'm really excited. Now I have like a second similar color that, um, you know, once I run out of it, I don't have to worry about the price. I can definitely afford like 10 of these. Um, but I like the tone of this one. It's purple, but I see hints of blue in there. It's one of those colors that is probably not uh, safe for everyday wear. If you have extravagant makeup and you want to go for something fabulous, this is amazing for that. Um, or you can go the total polar opposite. It's kind of like what I'm doing right now. Very simple eye makeup and very striking lip color. But for me, um, going out, if I know that I'm gonna wear really dark lipstick, I generally like to keep my eye makeup simple so that it's not like poof in your face. So absolutely in love with this one as well. I really like all their colors. I have no problem with their colors. Like none of that, none of the colors are weird and too girly for me. And I'm not a big fan of like pinks. Uh, I have a lot of pink lipstick for photo shoot reasons and I barely use them anyway. Um, but these colors are just precious. They're so different. They're so alternative and they require a certain kind of balls to be worn um, and I'm still trying to grow them so <laughs> so let's remove this one and try the next color my poor lips they're gonna be crying after this video and also now that I'm removing them I should mention that the colors they come off uh, they come off easily but I suggest still using some kind of moisturizer to remove them they come off easily when you want them to come off though, like they stay on all day. Like if you're not touching your face or eating steak like a savage, um, they do stay on very well. You don't really have to reapply them all over all day, you just have to put a little bit in the places that you know your coffee cup is touched. Alright, let's moisturize a little bit and continue. My lips can do this. I'm a warrior. So the next color I'm going to swatch for you guys is the second darkest color I have and it is a beautiful red and I have so many different reds though um, but the quality of this brand is quite different. That's what I love about having like one red from each brand that I really like is that yes the red shade might be exactly the same as something you have already but if it's the quality and if it's the matte effect or the sparkly effect whatever um, if the quality is there, you can still enjoy the red, even though it's like the 15th red 
color you have that is like the same shade of red but I'm pretty sure I have this shade of red in something but it's my first time trying this one on and I want to see if the quality will match the other ones but the quality has been quite consistent with this brand so I think I'm just gonna say usually what I say is that I'm in love with it so I don't know if I mentioned but this one is called bitch witched uh, the color I'm wearing and again this is not the best application of lipstick I've ever applied uh, it's a little bit crooked but it's different than I expected um, when I looked at the lipstick like this it looks quite dark it looks very like bloody dark you expect to have notes of brown there but once it is applied you can see that it's very like Hollywood bright red um, it's very it's very Hollywood and you know it's very like classy red um, darker though not that bright flashy in your face but it's definitely a beautiful red the difference is between let's say this one and like um, witch's brew or naked witch um, this one is a little bit more glossy so what I would like to do is just yeah take like a Kleenex and remove any kind of like moisture that I feel and it's perfectly matte and yeah the consistency is the same as the other ones but when you apply it there's a little bit of gloss it could either be the makeup itself or me using like moisturizer before putting this on although I don't use a lot I just dab a little bit but um, this one is a very like safe red it's not that crazy which is another thing I enjoy so I had some technical difficulties with my uh, setup so now there is no sun anymore I have to use this light but it's okay we are down to our last color and it's a very dark color um, so it's just it's gonna be a little bit simple I'm glad this didn't happen earlier in the video and so um, I still have this lipstick on though um, now it's time to take this one off uh, and try the other one what I was saying before my camera setup went to crap was that this is a very safe red it's um, another one of their more safe colors that you can wear on a daily basis it doesn't look too strange too dark or anything it is a perfect classy red so I'm gonna remove this one and try on the last color I have which is oh no Nancy Okay, that is as much as I can get off before my lips fall off now. Um, the last color is, what it looks like is a perfect brown tone with not much red tones in there. So it's not a reddish brown, it's not a dark red that's almost brown, it looks like a perfect brown tone. There is like almost no red going on in here. However, maybe applying it is going to look different. But before I apply it, I'm just going to see what it says on their website about the color. Because for example, the Witch's Brew, the purple one that I tried on, it looked darker in the lipstick. But then when you apply it, it's this like beautiful brighter color. Let's see. Oh no, Nancy, here it is. It says 90s dark chocolate brown. So I'm not expecting a lot of reds going on in there. I'm gonna put this on and it just fell. <laughs> Didn't break, thankfully. I'm gonna put this on and let you guys judge what it looks like. This light is the closest thing I have to natural daylight, guys. I'm sorry if it's not working perfectly, but it's very contrasty, but it's the closest light I have to natural, like white daylight. Okay, I'm just gonna try and move you guys with me. Okay, this is probably the best application I'm going to be able to do uh, without like a lip liner and like a little bit of um, foundation on a brush to like make it all, you know, fleek as children nowadays say. Um, <laughs> but uh, this is, that's exactly what I thought it would be. There's absolutely no tones of red in this brown uh, lipstick and I love that because I actually don't have a lot of browns like this. This is true brown and it is so gothic and it is so beautiful and it's just, it's it's safe. Um, it is very 90s, yes, it's very very safe but again it is quite dark so it is a lot safer than the gray, gray beige that I tried on earlier but at the same time it's a beautiful classy dark brown, true brown lipstick 
and the consistency of this one is absolutely perfect it is matte also another thing with their makeup is that um, it doesn't over dry your lips and I have this pickiness with uh, lipsticks that are too dry I do have a lot of matte lipsticks where it goes on liquid and then it dries to a matte finish uh, through the day um, I feel that the inside of my lips start to peel not the lips itself but the color starts to peel off and therefore I have to apply more and it just looks like you know when you paint your nail polish over and over when it chips and it just looks clumpy uh, with this one if a little bit of it comes off it's soft enough that you just rub your lips together and it's just filled again you don't have to reapply it so if that makes any sense to you ladies if not perhaps I'm just crazy but I am absolutely in love with the colors that I received I'm very very impressed with this brand as I mentioned uh, my plan was not at all to make a video but but as soon as I received it I thought that I had to make a video for you guys and talk about their color and their colors and uh, let you guys know that there is an awesome brand out there and their makeup is not that expensive actually the quality is amazing and the price you're paying it is worth it I find drugstore brands um, and they're around the same price and the quality is not even close and this is a vegan brand it's cruelty free uh, it's healthy it makes your lips feel a lot better it's not drying and uh, yeah it's all around badass and the unfortunate thing is you're not gonna find such alternative beautiful colors in the drugstore so if you're looking for these fantastic colors make sure to check out their website and thanks again to necromancy cosmetica for uh, this collaboration I'm very excited uh, right now I have not I haven't done any photo shoots with their stuff yet so uh, that's actually what I was saying like this one and the last three lipsticks I tried on um, they were it was my first time trying them on so it was like a fresh lipstick that I just opened and um, uh, so be sure to check out and keep an eye out on my Facebook page because I'm going to be uh, doing a lot of photo shoots uh, and I'm going to be collaborating with Necromancy Cosmetica through that photo shoot so I'm going to be wearing a lot of these colors and you can see what they look like in photos and different lighting and also with like better makeup because this is quite a simple makeup I have today um, for the reason though I wanted to make this video so um, make sure to check out my Facebook page and all the links I'm going to leave down below and make sure to check out their website as well to see the other colors they have they have a wide range of different colors for everyone. I'm sure that if you are a badass, you're going to find a color in their collection that is perfect for you. And if you're not a badass, uh, there are still some safe colors you can go with. This one, the red, the, uh, was it Naked Witch? I th no, it wasn't Naked Witch, was it? I think it was the other one, the other one that is less, less beige, less strange. So these are like very safe colors while still having that undertone of magic and mysticism so yeah um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks again to Necromancy Cosmetica for making it possible um, I'm really excited about the future of our collaboration and the photo shoots that I'm going to create and I always will note in the photo shoots if I've used their stuff so if you see a photo shoot in the future and you're like ooh that lipstick what is it just read the description it's most likely going to be one of their colors and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video have a beautiful day or night wherever you are stay fabulous what can I say at the end of this video um, lipstick on and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.